Hi, welcome to Were the Kids All Right. Um, we did a bonus episode this week. We didn't record enough an intro, so that's why I'm doing this now. I really hope that y'all enjoy the fun bonus content that Sophie and I recorded for you. In case you didn't know, we do have a um, YouTube channel, which you can find under Were the Kids All Right. And for this fun bonus content, you can go and see it and see us take these quizzes um, with your eyes. Have fun with that. You can also just listen. Up to you. You are the maker of your own experience. Yeah, <laughs> Sophie is cringing at me. So I shall end this now and let you get along to the thing that we recorded like, what, a week and a half ago at this point? Yeah. It's been a minute. Enjoy. Anyways, enjoy. Hi, everyone. So we're doing some fun bonus content, and we've decided to take a faction quiz. Woo. So give me a sec to get the quiz on my screen. Okay. We are taking the official Divergent Faction quiz by Epic Reads today. Um, okay. Let's start. Okay. How do I start this? Oh, I click that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll take it at the same time. Yeah. But you can click what your result is. So yeah. Just do so it on my you're going to be seeing my results. Sophie's going to do it on her computer. But anyways, when you're faced with a difficult problem, how would you react? Oh. Does my mom count as my friends? Because <laughs> if yes, then probably debating the issue with friends. Um, yeah, I would debate it first, but I'm not really, I'm not going to do full pros and cons list. I have done a full pros and cons list before for things, mostly when my mom has told me to. I only ever did it for what college I was going to decide to be in. Oh, I didn't need it for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're both picking debating the issue? Yeah. Great. You most want your family and friend, your friends and family to see you as someone who is willing to make sacrifices and help anyone in need, is liked by everyone, is trustworthy, will protect them no matter what happens, offers wise advice. I'm probably going to say trustworthy. This is hard. I don't know. I guess help anyone in need. Maybe not make sacrifices, but... Mm -hmm. I do want to be seen as helpful, I think. That's nice. Okay. I'm go with that one. If you had to select one of the following options as a profession, which would you choose? Oh, God. Judge, firefighter, scientist, farmer, humanitarian. Oh, no, I'm going to get candor again. Because you're going to pick judge? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with humanitarian because it's the closest to teacher. Yeah. Cool. Oh, shoot. What activity would you most likely find yourself doing on an unexpected day off? Rock climbing or skydiving? No, I'm afraid of heights. Um, volunteering. Reading, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing opinions with your friends. Something artistic. Um, I'm probably going to go with sub something artistic. Because writing. Yeah, probably working on my dictator story. Fair. On an unexpected... Hmm. See, a lot of these things take planning because I, okay, I like rock climbing with friends, mm -hmm. but like you got to plan that ahead of time. So if it's an unexpected day off, I'm not doing that. Same with volunteering. Volunteering is super fun, but I'm not going to do it unexpectedly. Let's be real. You're going to be watching YouTube. So I think that <laughs> falls under reading. <laughs> <laughs> no need to call me out. <laughs> when choosing your outfit for the day, you select whatever whatever will attract the least amount of attention. Well, that's clearly not me. No. <laughs> um, something that will not distract or inhibit you from what you have to do that. That's yes, something. Me. No debate. <laughs> something comfortable but interesting to look at. Whatever will attract the most attention. Something that's simple but still expresses your personality. I think comfortable but interesting to look at, given my current outfit. You can't really yeah. see it on camera, but I have a dress. And then this is actually purple and the dress is black. But yeah. it's, yeah. And then, of course, your wonderful hair and baseball cap. Thank you. 
Um, if you discovered that a friend's significant other was being unfaithful, you would tell your friend ASAP, confront the cheater, sit them both down and act as a mediator, keep it to yourself, tell your friend it's unhealthy. Oh, okay. So there's two tell your friend options. Okay. I don't like the last one. Uh huh. Because that's not what it's about. Yeah. Also, you don't know the situation. That's the situ- that's like the thing. True. I mean, which is like something that we have to think about because we have. I mean, I'm Polly, and we have many friends who are Polly. So you never know what the situation is. Yeah, and even when people are not Polly, they could have discussed an open relationship. I. I don't know. I still classify that under the relationship of poly, but I guess um, well, I, I, mean, I know that people like don't define long it that dis- way. Long distance. That's like often. Yeah. And people usually yeah, people define don't. poly as yeah. like more committed. Yeah, I get it. Um, I would say for me, at least tell your friend ASAP, just because then I can find out quickly if it is an open situation or if it's something that we need to be worried about. Yeah. Honestly, I would probably, um, I would never sit them both down and act as a mediator because that's not my place. Yeah, um, I, that's something you only do if they ask you to do it. Yeah, I would probably, I don't know, I might confront the cheater if I see that immediately in the situation. I would obviously like tell my friend, but I might confront the cheater to just check in and be like, hey, what's going on? And also I know, because then it could be a situation where maybe saying I know this is happening you need to tell Mm. and it's better if it comes from the partner I think yeah then it's like a okay we can work through this yeah cool um what would you say is your highest priority in life right now success in work or school finding (laughs) peace and happiness for yourself seeking (laughs) truth in all things serving those around you developing strength of character oh gosh um for me, honestly, right now, it's finding peace and happiness. Yeah. Just right now. Uh-huh. This is not typically my highest priority in life. That's really sad. Look, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your answer? Well, it would be finding peace and happiness. But right now, I'm just kind of like trying to get through the next few months. Um, so like, that's not the priority. That, like, the priority is like, stability right now I think that counts under the umbrella of success I don't want I don't need success though I just want stability that's fair yeah I might as well put that in there okay I might as well go for it well I'm picking peace and happiness Ooh, calculating results cool okay I would be abnegation freaking hell, freaking hell. <laughs> what do you get freaking candor again <laughs> I can't with this. Do you think I'm honest? Um, yeah, I think you're pretty honest. <laughs> but am I, do I tell people things when I shouldn't? I mean, you always weigh the pros and cons of telling them. So I don't know if you're like as candor, candor as candor is. But like, I can see why the quiz puts you there. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so other people sometimes see you as insensitive. No, uh, I think that's only if they don't know you. Yeah, I, I don't know. If I had to place you in a faction, to be honest, I'd put you in Amity. That's fair. I don't get abnegation because I do like drawing attention to myself. Yeah, and also, <laughs> like, you would suck. I would suck. Yeah, <laughs> self-care is selfish? What the Yeah, heck? that's fucked up. We'll talk about it in the episode. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Should we take the but other I, ones? okay, wait, wait, wait. Just the rest of the definition of abnegation, I do kind of understand yeah. why they picked it for me because the rest of it says like more concerned with other people's contentment than your own. You find joy and fulfillment in making other people happier, safer, and healthier, which like totally. Mm-hmm. And then other people see you as somewhat difficult to get to know, but also quiet and kind. People who don't know me, yes. <laughs> You're not quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quiet to strangers. I've gotten sort of. Okay, I only started getting loud once I got to college. <laughs> okay, okay, that, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, which is the only time you've known me. Yeah. I'm gonna stop screen sharing for a second while we get the next yeah. um thing. And I can set up screen share this time. 
Okay, so now we're doing BuzzFeed. Okay, what Wait. color? <laughs> Wait, give me 30, okay. Yeah, go. What color do you wear the most? Black, red, white, blue, gray, whatever is cheapest. <laughs> um, I think I also- I'm literally wearing all black today. Yeah, you really are. I think I'm either, am I black or blue? Like today, I'm definitely black. I would say blue because you often throw in a flannel, which is not a black vibe. And I wear a lot of jeans. Yeah. Okay, pick a phone app. <laughs> Why That's is not TikTok not on, not on here? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate this. Um, Google? I have freaking disabled every single thing I could on Google in terms of privacy. I think I have to go with Facebook because I spend a lot of time on Facebook. That's weird. I know. Okay. It's, it's for groups. I'm going with text. Yeah, I can't go with text. Yeah, you definitely can. Wait, can you see the emojis? Can I see the emojis? For the next question? The emoji is no longer available. <laughs> so we just have to like go with a random emoji. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pick the second one. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, neither. What do you value most? <laughs> revenge. <laughs> um, selflessness, kindness, revenge, honesty, bravery, intelligence. I'm going with kindness. Mm. Yeah. Are you I agree. Okay. What's your sin? <laughs> what you this is a poorly on? designed quiz. And being green, <laughs> wrath. Is wrath my sin? Should I go with gluttony because I refuse to switch to alternative milk even though I really should? Well, it's not I refuse. Yeah. I keep forgetting. No, I don't know. I don't think so. I'm going to go with sloth. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to go with envy? Yeah. <laughs> Pick a TV show. Images are no longer available. At least we can see the words. Yeah. These are them. all bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these. Revenge ABC. I'm not choosing Law and Order because it's little. It's too much for me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the heck Revenge is. It's definitely a lot of girls because Lena Dunham. Mm -hmm. um, Breaking Bad, never seen. The only one I've seen out of these is Law and Order, and since that is closest to Criminal Minds, I have to pick it. Yeah. What's Revenge? I have no idea. I'm going to look it up, because Revenge. TV series. Oh, it looks bad. Wrath. I'm not wrong. Well, beauty and status to find the people who live in the Hamptons, but one <laughs> woman seeking revenge could destroy it all. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go with I don't watch TV because I don't watch these shows. That's fair. Though I do watch TV. You watch more TV than I do sometimes. Yeah, I'm not going with Law and Order because I don't like it and I know it's going to lead me to Candor again. <laughs> Too bad they didn't have ice skating on there or gymnastics because <laughs> you watch that a lot. Okay. Um, what are you guilty of? Being blunt. Excuse you. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, you said being blunt? Yeah, no, I was just- I thought that. you said being born. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no! <laughs> um, spending more time at your job than with friends. That sounds familiar. It sounds know. like a person we know. Yeah. Um, acting before thinking. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Impulsivity. Definitely a thing. I think there is a person in my life who would say that I quit things too easily. I, but I don't want to pick that. No, I think that you, I don't think you quit things. Like, I do think you quit things, but I don't think the things you quit are, like, vital at all. Exactly. Um, I'm going to go putting others' needs before yours, because typically that is something I am very guilty of. I'm getting better about it, though. Yeah, like, that is something I'm definitely... Like, I'm definitely guilty of, but I really think in terms, because um, I've been just so isolated from other people, I haven't really had a chance to put other people's needs before mine so much, so I'm going to go with um, acting before thinking. Cool. Is 
your dream job? They don't have my dream job on here. I think I have to quit later. I'm sorry. I know this is going to get me candor again, but... I think I'm going to go with volunteer work, even though I'm pretty sure it's going to give me abnegation again. (laughs) (laughs) I just want a job. Pick your poison. Again, images are not available. Beer, water, (laughs) wine, tea. Oh, coffee. Tea. I'm literally drinking green tea lemonade. And I'm literally drinking coffee. Yep. (gasps) Superpowers. Influencing minds. No. You know how I feel about mind control. Healing yes, I do. powers. Healing powers are kind of cool. That's cool. Uh, read minds. No. Super strength. Teleport. No. Teleportation. See, I don't want to be able to influence people's minds, but I do want to know what people think. So I think I'm going to go with read minds. Seriously? Yeah. It probably wouldn't be great for my mental health, but I do want it. <laughs> or the people who you're reading. <laughs> True. <laughs> I just want to know what people think about me. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. I wish you had the, I bet you could turn it on and off. Yeah, if I could turn it on and off, that's definitely, there's a book that we should read mm-hmm. that, yeah, we'll read it eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, the phrase you say the most, you look so nice. I dare you. I knew that. I know you're lying. Can you help me? Need help? Yeah, you probably Which one? Probably need help. <laughs> what am I? Uh, need help. I think it's the same one. Yeah, that's fair. The only other thing that I would do for that one is in my job, in my current job, I do say I compliment people's appearances very often. Oh, that's nice. Because it makes me feel you better. So nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of women who come up with like the fucking longest nails, and I'm just like, damn, okay. Oh, fucking hell. This was the yeah. last one. <laughs> I got abnegation again. <laughs> I got amity. Thank freaking goodness. No more candor. I can be, I, I remember they said that candor and amity were at each other's throats all the time. I think they would be the bridge between candor and amity because I'm all into like honesty and not keeping the peace at all costs. But also, um, I'm not into annoying honesty. See, I am confused about the abnegation thing because when I was in high school and taking these quizzes I got erudite (laughs) so like have I just changed as a person well I mean your focus isn't really on um like school and school or grades right now being better than everyone else because I wanted to be smart yeah (laughs) yeah that's fair now I just have a podcast (laughs) (laughs) so I'm all somehow already better than people I don't know (laughs) okay so conclusion you are abnegation the selfless cult and I am somewhere in between candor and amity if I bet that my result if I was in the the choosing the test I would get candor and then I would choose amity but let's be real we would both be diverse that's true, because people are not just one thing. Yeah, and we, our genes haven't been, our genes have not been genetically altered. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know what I would pick if I was actually, maybe we should do that as our last question instead of what character you would be, what faction would you choose? Or we just talk about it now. I think we should do both. But, okay. like, we can talk about it if, during, here and during the episode, but, cool. um... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, if I was actually in the world, I might want to choose Amity, but, like, the fact that there is a peace serum that literally prevents them from fighting is a little scary. That is scary. And I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So I probably would end up in abnegation. Does it include verbal fighting? Probably. Yeah, I would, I wouldn't. Abnegation would be absolute horrible, horribleness for my ent- mental health, but it seems a lot more desirable to just do community service than yeah. get injected with serum or have to, I would actually do fine under a lie detector test, to be honest. I would not. <laughs> yeah, I would be fine because I don't really have a lot of s- secrets or things that I don't want people to know. 
So you're really good at keeping other people's secrets. Yes, um, other people's secrets would, that would be an unfortunate casualty, definitely. <laughs> but I also don't know anything that would be mind blowing or put you in danger in this world, unless I knew that you were divergent or whatever. Yeah, I can see why divergent people don't join candor because they'd have to reveal that they're divergent people should just stay in abnegation. Yeah, there's yeah, they could do they could be an amity, but or they should just the smart thing for the government to do without killing divergence is just to put them in amity if they have to do that peace service, you know. The faction that you would join would totally be abnegation because of the government job thing. Because <laughs> they're in control of the government. Yeah, but I would I would want that. So I would not I would not match up with the point of the fact that they're government employees. True, but you could still choose to join it. Yeah, yeah, I would totally choose abnegation. And I would probably be like, hey, maybe erudite has a point. Yeah um anyways um can you stop screen sharing real fast yes. so if you haven't listened to our episode on divergent yet um i don't know if this is coming out before or after we put that out but when if it's out go listen to it it's yep. gonna be great <laughs> we're gonna we're go record it right now podcasts. Yep. And as we always say, check us out on Twitter and Instagram. And, and TikTok. TikTok! at WTKA underscore podcast. The link will be in the description. You can also check us out at our website, where we occasionally post blog posts and also have all the episodes to our podcast if you prefer to listen on our actual website, which I personally do. Okay. Yeah. And so that's that. all for this time. Yep. <laughs> and listen to our divergent podcast which will probably also be linked in the description yes okay, okay. toodles bye everyone <laughs>